For those of you that just want to know about the release date, then I will tell you right here, right now. It comes out June 22nd, 2023 into early access. And man, it's really coming out when a lot of other games like indie games are also coming out too. June is literally jam-packed with a bunch of games. A bunch of games that I don't know if I'll be able to afford. So if you want to support the channel, become a member and watch behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> Oh, what the f it deflected? No, no, the m I think you missed it. And get your name in the videos. But uh, yeah, what's up, everybody? Be right back at it again with another video to cover some more Six Days in Fallujah because it just came out with another video showing off some more stuff. A bunch of other YouTubers have released their videos, and I am totally not jealous at all. <laughs> So yeah, let's just go ahead and go through this video while I cry while we wait for its release. So we're just gonna go through it here. So it shows them running. I don't think I've seen them running in anything else before. Or if I have, I've seen like very little. Like it's always been moving ridiculously slow, making me think that it's ready or not. But you actually see running animations. That's cool. So they're running toward this building here. In 2004, Al Qaeda and Iraq seized the city of Fallujah. The battle that followed will be among the bloodiest in a half century. Yeah, uh, from what I understand, this battle was pretty. Um, well, it was a failure, from what I understand. We ended up losing a lot of people. A lot of civilians ended up dying along with, you know, the enemy. It was just a real shit show from what I understand. But, uh, yeah. This guy here says that everybody knows that the first guy through that door is probably going to die. And I believe it. I really like how they show this hallway here because it feels very fear-esque. You know, with the flickering lights. There's lights, but even though there is lights, it looks ridiculously dark. And it's in a hallway. Kind of spooky, not gonna lie. And I guess that's what they're really going for, right? Because going through some of these buildings is definitely scary. Like, you just don't know what to expect what could be beyond that door i wonder if they're gonna have traps they've never shown off a system like that but i imagine there were traps in those days so we see that you're able to kick in the door there i think we've seen some of that before but i just remember the one where they hit the door with a sledgehammer and i imagine we're gonna see that in here too Oh, that was a bit fast let me see if i can back that up just a tad slow it down is there gonna be like a free cam in this game That'd be cool. Transition, and then we see a guy with a midge. I think that's what it's called. Shemedge or something. I don't know how to say that face covering name. This guy is shooting upwards through a hole right here. This guy has an AK and a hat. Interesting. What is this? Some weird looking cage where they keep like their women and stuff. Like what the hell is this? This guy's looking through a murder hole. I'm guessing that the guys with the flashlight are all the American troopers. Sees a guy going by. That's an interesting looking headway right there. Ooh, it's nighttime. We have dynamic lighting. That's pretty cool. Guy running with this pistol. Oh, and we have dynamic weather. There's a sandstorm going on here. Barely see anything. It's like fog. Oh, and this dude gets freaking destroyed. Oh, so the bad guys can run over to another building here and hop up on the vines, which if you don't know, the vines are actually indications that you could hop up there. But man, these guys have like superhuman jumping right here because they just like straight jump up there. Let me see that again. Yoink. God dang. Look at that. Oh, and then the camera switches to the player view, and he just guns them down as they try to cross over. The only part that I dislike about this is that they don't actually show what it looks like when they die. Well, I would like to see how the ragdolls would just, you know, happen here. But this also shows that the bad guys could definitely come in from the sides and try to flank you or reinforce the building that you're at. That's pretty cool. Oh, one thing that I should probably mention is that this is a four-player co-op, and I think it also has single-player, if I'm not mistaken, with AI, is from what I've seen. I'm just curious to know how good the AI is. I hope it is, you know, relatively good. Not like BS or ground branch AI right now. Shoot off a shotgun right there. Uses this grenade launch on it third story building oh and then we see the and then we see the m249 machine gun right here blasting a vehicle enemy vehicle that looks like it's headed towards them oh and then it explodes that's an ied look at the vehicles that we have here that transport vehicle and then there's a bradley on the right side that looks like a bradley and a humvee to the left i wonder if we take this humvee it was a failure we're in the darkness again looking at a playground it looks like a dynamic lighting making this look kind of cool it's a very gorgeous looking game by the way i don't know if i've said that like 20 times we see that humvee again so i'm guessing this is the vehicle that we can use to get around or maybe this is the vehicle that we spawn in and then we get out and go search the building hopping over stuff looking with the lights and See, this is the way that I've seen, you know, the breaching system just with the hammer. And then they go in, breach and clear. This guy's shooting at this guy that looks like he's trying to, like, dodge with his arm. Like, that's gonna work. I've seen a lot of people switch to their pistol when they go into 
buildings which I guess makes sense because you know using a rifle in this environment would get it caught on a lot of stuff and this right here is a little like sus because a guy waiting right here would have shot you but this guy he was sitting there doing nothing and then the developers chose to cut this part to him shooting him with his gun up so I think there's a little wonkiness with the AI just guessing but I mean so far this seemed pretty uh pretty good boom headshot that was pretty much the six days of pollution trailer uh, let's talk price. So price, uh, you know, this is going to be a game that's single player and co-op, I believe. It's going to have a dynamic map, so you're never going to feel like it's the same every time. I know a lot of games that have done that, and I don't know if that's like a real selling point, per se. Zero Hour had something like that with like dynamic interiors, where things would get moved around and stuff, and I don't think that kept people from coming back. But, you know, it, it is something that has been a thing where stuff can be randomly generated, but I don't know if that's like a real selling point, but I think the biggest selling point is how many game modes or what type of stuff you're gonna need to do within these missions. I did hear that they have a lot of game modes, but we'll definitely have to see what those are gonna be, you know. I don't think this game is gonna have mod support, unless I'm mistaken. Um, to be honest, I think a good price point would be probably $30 to $40, just given how gorgeous the game looks and how, you know, the dynamic maps are going to work. I just really want to know how many game modes there's going to be. How good the AI team functions. Is it going to be you ordering them around to do things and they actually follow your commands and do everything to the T? I have no idea. I have not been able to play this game at all, so I assume that they have a lot of this stuff nailed down. I mean, from everything that I've seen, it looks ridiculously good good but there are a bit of you know sus things that they'll cut out throughout this video how the ai acts but i hope that it's not that big a deal i am a little worried about a couple of things it being you know their first real game i mean i'm not saying that they haven't made games before but the ones that i've seen them make are not as ambitious as this one also when they first announced it they said that it was going to come out in the same year which i believe was 2020 if i'm not mistaken but then they ended up pushing it back to well now which is i think almost three years later right or 2023 yeah 2023 another thing is that they haven't really shown a whole lot of gameplay from their side i mean i have seen gameplay from you know the youtubers but i feel like the youtubers that have been playing it are like really over hyping it is what i'm trying to say i'm not saying that you know it's not fun it's definitely something that i'm gonna play it's just you know i have my concerns about it i really hope it's not gonna be like 60 dollars because if it is then i have a high price in my personal opinion but i guess we'll see we'll definitely see when june 22nd comes around that month is gonna be jam packed with so many indie games that i want to get but your boy is broke but yeah what are your guys thoughts and uh yeah let me know what you think are you gonna get the game what should the price point be i think if it's 60 dollars it's a bit pushing it in my personal opinion because you're not having multiplayer as far as i know you know pvp i think the correct price would be anywhere from 30 to 40 dollars but i'm just curious to know what it's gonna be like I wonder what kind of expansions they could do. This feels like one of those games that's going to be like a one and done, you know, type of deal. Like you play it and then you know, put it aside for something else. But it's going to be one of those games that's like worth your buck for sure, I hope. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think and I'll uh, end the video here. Thank you all for watching and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye